Sup guys, Watercool Fool here, and today we're going to be talking about a new power supply that will be hitting the market soon, and it's going to be the 8-pack and Super Flower, and pretty much they collaborated to create this great PSU uh, to come out to the market today. However, when it says uh, it's kind of misleading on some of the uh, titling here it says a uh, eight pack and super user to launch world's first 2000 watt consumer PSU this isn't the first 2000 watt consumer PSU you know ultra products came out with a 2000 watt power supply back in 2007 so we're talking about maybe four and a half years ago or four years ago seven years ago five years ago whatever it is, but uh, they came out with the 2000 watt power supply. There's a couple other companies that produces uh, 2000 watt power supplies. However, this is a first power supply that is 80 plus platinum, fully modular power supply. And it can handle, uh, you know, four way uh, SLI or crossfire efficiency levels up to 94 percent fully modular design it has a 140 millimeter fan and it has a <clears throat> ECO intelligent thermal control system for cooling let's go over the little features aside from that you know 100 percent modular that means the 24 pin mo is modular your PCI Express for your graphics cards are modular, everything's modular, which is good. Um, when you say modular, I expect the 24 pin to be modular, the 8 pin for the CPU modular, uh, 8 pin or the 6 plus 2 pins for your PCI Express cards, like your graphics, to be fully modular. And sometimes they're not, they're actually you know wired straight into the PSU, so that isn't really modular. We have <clears throat> 80 plus platinum certified 92% 94% 90% efficiency at 20% 50% and 100% rated load so that's pretty good we have full range auto voltage detection design 100 volts to 240 volts and active PFC it complies with the energy star standard and energy using products regulation always have to you know go through regulations and everything that that we're gonna have over voltage protection over current protection over power protection short circuit protection and under voltage protection of course it's gonna say it's gonna support Intel and AMD multi-core CPUs and ATX and BTX compatible motherboards it's gonna support Nvidia SLI and of course AMD's Crossfire X for you know multiple graphic card use and it says more than 2,000 times on off test and unleaded or unleaded or unleaded green materials with ROHS slash WEEE -E -E compliance so unleaded <clears throat> excuse me okay what you're gonna get with the uh, power supply itself, it's going to be, it says uh, 1 times 20 plus 4 pin, you know, 24 pin connection for your motherboard, 1 times 8 pin for your CPU, 1 times 4 pin for uh, your CPU again. I know such an example is my motherboard takes an 8 pin and a 4 pin if you want for a cleaner power distribution to the CPU. We have 9 six plus two PCI Express cables we're gonna have five six pin PCI Express cables and then it says 18 SATA power connections we're gonna have five four pin Molex connections and then if you really feeling old school you got two floppy uh, power connections uh, one second guys excuse me so and this isn't going to be a cheap power supply. If I did my conversion correctly, I believe this is 349.99 pounds. So 349 pounds. I converted it. 
I don't know if this conversion rate is the most up to date as far as pounds per dollar, dollar pound ratio, whatever you want to say. But 349 pounds roughly equates to $526 here in the United States. So by no means is this power supply cheap in any way. It's definitely darn right expensive. <clears throat> I know the power supply I got the EVGA 1600 watt was roughly $300 I think, 3 something because I had micro center match the Amazon price. So that's how I was able to save some money on my power supply but 2000 watts is definitely a lot of power. Also, and this has just got me thinking is that can a standard outlet handle a 2000 watt power, you know, draw from the wall. And from my understanding uh, that, you know, when I've been reading and everything like that, <clears throat> the max draw you can essentially draw out of a wall outlet here in the States, anyways, is 1600 watts. Now, don't quote me on this, that's what I've read maybe two, three years ago. If I'm wrong, go ahead and put in a link to this, or link or something, hey, this is actually it, or say, hey, you know, correct me. I'm not gonna say I'm all high and mighty when I know this stuff when it comes to wattage and everything like that, but I believe that's the case. So that means, essentially, if you wanna use this power supply here in the States for its optimal, <clears throat> god dang, I would hate to be getting sick right now. But anyways, you would have to get an electrician, excuse me, an electrician to work on your breaker to ensure that you can draw out 2,000 watts. And then you would have to probably get some kind of special outlet or something like that made so you can actually use the 2,000 watt uh, you know, power consumption if your system pushes the 2,000 watt barrier when using this power supply and I so you're gonna spend roughly what did I say 526 yeah 526 dollars for the power supply then you're probably gonna to have to pay an electrician you know a couple hundred bucks for the fixing the breaker to up the amps or whatever on it and then you're gonna to have to pay the electrician to go and fix your outlet so you can actually pull the 2000 watts out of your wall so you may be looking at spending a total of, you know, six, six to eight hundred dollars, and I'm probably lowballing the crap out of it to be able to use this power supply. So five hundred twenty-six, probably three, four hundred, you know, maybe nine hundred bucks to actually use this power supply total cost. Again, I might be lowballing it. So this is something pretty interesting to see. That's for sure. But my, my question is, is with all these cards, you know, wanting to be low power and really efficient and not a power, power hungry cards, now are, are a lot of people going to be buying this product? That's my question. Because everybody's like, power efficiency, we don't, you know, power efficiency per, you know, performance. For me, I wouldn't care. I want raw performance. If it, if it sucks up energy like a groundhog, whatever, you know, I wouldn't care because I have the power supply for it and I wouldn't mind getting more aggressive overclocks for sure or if it needed more power or something like that instead of making it more power efficient. I don't really mind it at all. But anyways, guys, I thought this definitely sparked my interest. It might have sparked yours as well. Thank you guys for your support and subscribing. And as always, comment, subscribe, rate this video, click that like button, and you guys always have a great day now. All right?